This is going to look into rendering out a preview of this animation in Blender. Popping into Blender, when you export your FBX and bring it into here, you can see that it's not going to have that same previewness. Before exporting, you want to convert that mesh to be smooth. So this way in Blender, it's smooth to start with, and you want to add a modifier or subdivision surface in Blender, go for it. But if you're just looking to get this workflow from Maya into Blender and rendering, one thing that you might want to do is to convert all the meshes with preview smoothing on it to actual smoothing. The other thing that's going to be a little obstacle and we'll fix it is the camera. When it imports from Maya, it's the wrong way. Now, this isn't a Maya thing because you could take this file to Unity, Unreal, and other applications and the camera will point the correct way. It's a Blender thing and we'll fix that as well because our camera does animate and we need to look at the subject, which is over here, and not 180 degrees the other way. Jumping back to Maya, to get these previews, which is the toggle between one and three, to export correctly, just select everything you're seeing and go to Modify, Convert, and from here, select Smooth Mesh Previews to Polygons, right here. And give it a second, and now you can see that everything that was previewed is higher density, but everything that wasn't previewed is the still the same low polygon count, which is what we want. Now you're ready to export. Select everything in your scene and make sure you include the camera. And so make sure to select your camera. If just hold down the shift key and select it in the outliner. Then go under file, export selection. And I'm gonna call this stall blender 2fbx making sure to embed media. This has no embedded media, but it's good practice. Export selection. All right, let's get this model from Maya into Blender. And then we're going to, after we import it, set the camera that was used in Maya as the active camera, fix the rotation, and render out the scene. And this will just get you into the flow of taking stuff from Maya, rendering it out in Blender. You could delete this cube, and you could delete everything by going up to Collections, selecting everything up there, using the Shift key and pressing Delete, or you could delete it in the viewport. Go to File, Import, and select FBX. And the FBX that we're looking for is the last one that was exported from Maya. So it's this one. Import. Press the period key to zoom on into that little area. You can also use the wheelie mouse like this. And as a review, holding down the middle mouse button will orbit, shift middle mouse button to pan, and wheelie mouse to zoom in and zoom out using that mouse wheel. This camera is facing the wrong way, and that's our first thing. And it's also not the active camera. How do you know when that camera's active? When this triangle is filled in. We deleted all the other cameras in the scene. Still, this has to be made into active camera. And you can do that by going to your scene right here. Going to cameras, and you can use the picker, or click here to pick the only camera in the scene and watch that triangle fill in. Excellent. So this is our active camera. What is this camera looking at? It's looking the wrong way, right? If you're the camera person and you're staring this way, you're looking out into space, not at this lovely animation happening behind you. To see what the camera sees, click this icon right here. Click. So that's what we're staring at. Going to the object properties right here. All these properties are already being used and if I select my camera, which I could have just selected up here, you can see that there's keys in the timeline. You might have done that in Maya. Back to what the camera is seeing, facing the wrong way. Now go under mode, quartarian, and it's going to ask for an offset, a delta offset. Don't see that? Just click on this little icon, and I'm going to offset the camera rotation along the z-axis. And as I drag that over, you can see that there's the rotation and should go up to 90. So instead of 91, just type in 90. You're done. Now your camera matches what is done in Maya.